Genesis chapter 24, continued. Theme, A Bride for Isaac. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her, and she went down to the well, and filled her pitcher, and came up, Genesis 24 15-16. I told you Rebecca was good-looking, I knew it was coming, of course. She was good-looking, the Word of God says it, my friend, and there is nothing wrong with that. I resent it today that Hollywood, the theater, and the devil get beauty. I think that the Lord ought to have some of it. He made it to begin with, and there is nothing wrong with his using a lovely and beautiful person. I pray always that God will call fine-looking men and women into his service today. And the damsel was very fair to look upon. She was not just an ordinary girl. She would have won a beauty contest. She was a virgin, neither had any man known her. And the servant ran to meet her, and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord, and she hasted, and let down her pitcher upon her hand, and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also, until they have done drinking, Genesis 24 17-19. The important thing to note is that Rebecca is a very polite and courteous girl also. She is beautiful, not dumb, and very polite. And she hasted, and emptied her pitcher into the trough, and ran again unto the well to draw water, and drew for all his camels, Genesis 24 20. Remember that there were ten camels, and I do not know how long it had been since they had last filled their tanks. It was just like filling the radiator of a car to fill up those camels. And the man wondering at her held his peace, to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not, Genesis 24 21. The servant just stands there in amazement. He is wondering whether this is it, whether God is leading or not, he believes he is. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight, and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold, and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nahor, Genesis 24 22-24. Nahor is a brother of Abraham. She said moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough, and room to lodge in. And the man did bow down his head, and worship the Lord, Genesis 24 25-26. The servant sees the hand of God in this. It is wonderful to have God leading and guiding, is it not? And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren, Genesis 24 27. This is a great statement here, I being in the way, the Lord led me. The Lord leads those who are in the way, that is, those who are in his way, who are wanting to be led, who will be led of him, and who will do what he wants done. God can lead a willing heart any time. And the damsel ran, and told them of her mother's house these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban, and Laban ran out unto the man, unto the well, Genesis 24 28-29. Right here, let me warn you to keep your eye on Uncle Laban. He will bear watching at this point and from here on. He was greatly impressed by material things. Notice what happens. And it came to pass, when he saw the earring and bracelets upon his sister's hands, and when he heard the words of Rebekah his sister, saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto the man, and, behold, he stood by the camels at the well, Genesis 24 30. The servant just waited out there at the well to see whether anyone would come out to lead him into the home of Rebekah, whether he really had a welcome or not. Believe me, when old Laban saw those rings, he knew it was a very wealthy guest. Uncle Laban is not one to miss a deal. If you doubt that, ask Jacob later on. Jacob found out that Uncle Laban was a real traitor. In fact, he was a better trader than Jacob was. So Laban went out to welcome the servant. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house, and room for the camels, Genesis 24 31. 
Even old Laban recognized the fact that there was the living God, the Creator, the one God. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the men's feet that were with him. Genesis 24:32. Again, we have this footwashing ceremony. Note that there are quite a few men who have come with this servant. The servant is entertained royally in this home, Uncle Laban sees to that. We have here a marvelous picture of the relationship of Christ and the Church. One of the figures of speech that is used in the New Testament is that the Church is someday to become the Bride of Christ. This is the way the Church is being won today, through the Holy Spirit whom the Father and the Son have sent into the world. The Spirit of God, like the servant of Abraham, has come to talk about another, to take the things of Christ and show them unto us. As this servant has gone to get a bride for Isaac, so the Spirit of God is in the world to call out a bride for Christ. Notice the marvelous dramatic effect that we have here. This is an exciting story and a wonderful record of that day. And there was set meat before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat, until I have told mine errand. And he said, Speak on, Genesis 24 33. Abraham's servant says, Before I can eat, I want to tell you my mission. This is also characteristic of the Holy Spirit who has come into the world to tell about another. That is primary business as far as God is concerned. I know that there are other businesses that are very important, the business of our government, the great business of the news media, and the great corporations, the automobile and the airplane companies. All this is important, great business. But God is not continuing to deal with this world because of General Motors or the government in Washington, D.C., whether Republican or Democrat. The stock market on Wall Street is of no great concern in heaven. The thing that is primary as far as God is concerned is to get the gospel out to the peoples of the world. The Spirit of God is here to put this first. The servant of Abraham will not eat before he has spoken, and so they tell him to speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, Genesis 24 34. Notice that his name is not given. Likewise, the Lord Jesus said that when the Holy Spirit comes, He will not speak of Himself, but He will take the things of Mine and show them unto you, see John 16 13-15. By the way, what is the name of the Holy Spirit? He has no name. He does not come to speak of Himself, He has come to speak of another, of Christ. Similarly, this servant is not named but is simply called a servant of Abraham. And the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he has become great, and he hath given him flocks, and herds, and silver, and gold, and men servants, and maid servants, and camels, and asses, Genesis 24 35. The servant tells about the father's house. And that is something that the Spirit of God would have us know about. He convicts the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment, those are the three things that he talks about to the lost world. He would have us know that the judgment is upon a sinful earth and upon mankind. Men are lost today because they are sinners. I hear it said that men are lost because they reject Christ. They are not lost because they reject Christ, they are lost because they are sinners. Whether they have heard about Him or not, they are lost sinners. That is the condition of man today. The Holy Spirit has come to let us know that there is a Savior who has borne our judgment and who has been made over to us righteousness and that we can have a standing in heaven. The Holy Spirit has come to speak of another and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly. And, my friend, our Heavenly Father is rich today in cattle and in goods. The cattle on a thousand hills are His. How great our Father is! And Sarah my master's wife bare a son to my master when she was old, and unto him hath he given all that he hath, Genesis 24 36. In an infinitely greater way, the Lord Jesus is the inheritor, and we are joint heirs with Him today. The servant of Abraham has come to tell this family that he is after a bride for his master's son who is going to inherit all things. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife to my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I dwell, Genesis 24 37. The Holy Spirit is calling out sinners, but they are sinners who are, born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth for ever. 1 Peter 1 23. These are the ones he is calling out, yes, sinners, but they have been made children of God. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 
2 Corinthians 5 17. God is not taking Canaanites as children must be transformed. But thou shalt go unto my father's house, and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son. And I said unto my master, Peradventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord, before whom I walk, will send his angel with thee, and prosper thy way, and thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred, and of my father's house, then shalt thou be clear from this my oath, when thou comest to my kindred, and if they give not thee one, thou shalt be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the well, and said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, if now thou do prosper my way which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass, that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink, and she say to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels, let the same be the woman whom the Lord hath appointed out for my master's son. And before I had done speaking in mine heart, behold, Rebecca came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well, and drew water, and I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste, and let down her pitcher from her shoulder, and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her, and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Beduel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bare unto him. And I put the earring upon her face, and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head, and worshipped the Lord, and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, which had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now if ye will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand, or to the left, Genesis 24 38-49. Laban is the spokesman for this family. Listen to him. Then Laban and Betuel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord, we cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee, take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken, Genesis 24 50-51. They say, as far as we are concerned, this is of the Lord. You go ahead and take Rebecca. And it came to pass, that, when Abraham's servant heard their words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver, and jewels of gold, and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah, he gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things, Genesis 24 52-53. This is the way the Spirit gives to the children of God. We have the earnest, the guarantee, of the Spirit when we come to Christ. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God, we have access, we have joy, we have a hope, and we have the Holy Spirit, see Romans 5 1-5. These are the wonderful things that have been made over to the believer today.